guess where I am. For the people who are obsessed with innovation, I'd like to welcome to you what I like to call the candy store of innovation, where you are going to touch and feel and get an innovation sugar rush. Yep, we're going to sugar you up with some amazing new technologies. Now, innovation has always been in our DNA. So one candy for you, sir? Oh, yes. Yes. You. And some of you who have been around long enough may remember when Schneider invented selectivity and cascading 30 years ago. And fast forward, we are now bringing you the next generation of IoT-enabled power distribution solution, EcoStructure Power, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And as John Pascal just shared, we are all immersed in the world of digitization, from our mobiles to facilities and industries. And guess what? All this, all this is going to need a super scalable, efficient data center solution to make it happen. And this is what we call EcoStructure IT. Yeah. All right? And then turning all this data to intuitive applications that drive productivity and efficiency. And when it comes to manufacturing, Schneider is no stranger to the leading the path on innovation. Like the very first PLC created by Modicon in 1968, and today we fast forward, we're taking it to the next level with EcoStructure Plan yeah. and EcoStructure Machine and our IoT-enabled solution. Now, before we let you into the amazing candy store, today we have a treat for you. We're going to premiere four latest innovation launches. With that, I'm going to hand back to my colleagues, Manish, Alexi, Kevin, and Nico. Take it away. I like to make things work better. I like puzzles. That's the way I look at everything I do here. It's all trying to figure out how things work and make them operate a little bit better. My name's Greg Lampson. I'm a senior facilities engineer with Boston Scientific, a medical device manufacturer. We monitor well into the thousands of data points. Without a system to kind of funnel down the critical points, it certainly can be overwhelming. Building analytics, it makes me look pretty good. It allows us to be more efficient. We've been making a lot of improvements. When I get the quarterly report and it shows that I've continuously reduced energy, that's more they can invest. And then you have fewer complaints because people are happy. The happier they are, the more work they're doing. Good morning, Paris. That was a great video. Very proud of what Greg, the facility manager, could achieve. He said, efficient buildings, fewer complaints. And fewer complaints mean happier people. Happier people means more work, more queries, good things. My name is Manish Kumar. I'm senior vice president for building management business at Schneider Electric. So when I think about buildings, I think about people. I think about people, how buildings can empower people to do amazing things. So very excited to speak to you regarding EcoStructure Building and what we are bringing in 2018 to you to take and enable and empower people like never before. We are all managers and leaders here. We manage large teams, thousands of people. How many times in your daily life you have seen people saying, oh, my environment is not comfortable. It's hot, cold. I'm chasing facility manager to fix things. Fix things are not getting done. You know that 37% of the short-term sick leaves can be reduced if you have better ventilated buildings, 35%. Now, you also have seen people trying to find meeting rooms and struggling sometime in buildings that you've never been before. You lose a minute here, you lose a minute there, no big deal when there are only few people. But as I was saying, when you have many people and you multiply that lost hours, lost minutes, it's a loss of huge amount of productivity. And those, that cost can be monumental. Now, if we think about hotels, 
We all are on the road quite often. Hotels are like second homes to all of us. Again, if we think about hotels, the number one priority of hotel owners and operators is guest experience. Why? That drives the business. And you know, close to 50% of complaints are coming from guest rooms. Again, the same thing. The hotel room is not providing comfortable environment, hot, cold, and so on and so forth. And you know what happens? When those complaints come, people go to TripAdvisor. And it takes them few seconds to put a nice comment, and that drives down the rating of your hotels. We believe we can take care of those problems. And every time a TripAdvisor rating goes down, it's difficult to recover from that situation. Now, with ecostructure building, we can address many of these issues. With ecostructure building, open platform that is scalable, secure, as well as global, we can solve these issues. And today, I'd like to talk to you regarding three main capabilities that we are bringing in 2018. The first one is Ecostructure Building Operation 2.0. It's our next generation of integrated building management software that all facility managers and own operators use. Three things we are bringing in this, open. Why open is important? You know, traditionally buildings are very rigid architectures difficult to connect with other systems. We are taking a lead in breaking those barriers. We are making the system open. Open means you can connect to many other OT systems, IT systems, but more importantly, you can take the data out of these system. You can build innovative applications on top of that. Second is mobile. Tomorrow's workforce is gonna be mobile. We are building the next generation of building operation to be natively mobile. It just not works on mobile, it is designed for mobile. So that people can have the building system on their tablets or phones and they can manage those facilities much more efficiently. The third thing we are bringing with building operation is scale. Tomorrow's buildings are gonna be more complex, more devices. You need scalable system that you can connect multiple devices, take the data out, analyze. With building operation 2.0, we are able to deliver systems that are 10 times larger, as well as managing multiple campuses at the same time. The second key capability we are releasing in 2018 is building advisor. As Greg was saying, building advisor is like a facility engineer running 24 into seven. You move from reactive to proactive. When you combine the market leading analytics and insights around mechanical equipment like such as chiller, boiler, air handling units, along with remote scientists and remote uh, experts, we believe you can predict problems faster, you can fix problems faster before people see, and with that, you can reduce 29% of unscheduled maintenance. And when that happens, you have an effect of 33% fewer complaints from people. And that's very, very exciting. Empowering that facility manager to create value in buildings. The third capability we are releasing is SmartX IP controllers and sensors. Why that is important? Historically, the building's architectures are proprietary field buses, connectivity issues, diagnosis issues. With IP architecture, we are reinventing how buildings should be architected. Now you can, you don't need to get up on the ladder with work, you know, big workstations. You can take a mobile phone and you can commission engineers these systems 
faster. You can diagnose these systems faster. You can connect many devices at scale to these systems. We believe with this, you can save up to 30% time during engineering and commissioning. Now, with all this new technology that is coming, we are taking eco-structure building to a different level. And coming back to what I said, for people, for empowering that facility managers like Greg so they can have insights on their fingertips and they can deliver more efficient buildings. The system integrators, they can innovate with open systems and they can deploy technology faster. And last, people like you and me, we can have more comfortable environment and we can be more productive. And that's really exciting. Now, let's have a look at how eco-structure ensures life is on in a hospital. I've seen thousands of births in my time. Each one I treat as special, and I always keep a watchful eye. I can't decide their futures, but I can give them a better chance at life. Amidst all the calm and the chaos, I need to be alert and switched on all the time. I can't make mistakes. I'm equipped for whatever's next, making sure there are no distractions and everyone's focused on the job. That's how I save lives. I believe comfort is the best way to recovery. I'm there if you need me to keep you warm at night. Close your curtains or turn on your lights. And with lives at stake, I have to be everywhere. That's why I am always connected, on call 24-7 wherever I may be. I have the power to predict and help you make critical decisions. Spend or save, cut back or go green. My knowledge can be your guide. I'm a smart investor and a steward of sustainability. Your healthcare guardian for future generations. I am your hospital. I'm powered by Schneider Electric. Innovation at every level. Good morning. Bonjour. I'm Alexis Grenon. I'm heading the power solution business in Schneider Electric. We're going to change gear. Uh, Manish talked about eco-structure power. We're going uh, eco-structure building. We're going to talk about power. We're going to talk about eco-structure power. Why? Because power is the backbone of every building, right? A couple of weeks back, I was on a plane across the Atlantic, and I was uh, starting to discuss with the person sitting next to me. As I admitted that I was going for just a one-day trip across the Atlantic, uh, he asked me whether I was a lawyer. Well, obviously not, right? Uh, so he asked me whether I was in a high-tech industry. And that really made me think. High-tech industry, electrical distribution, really? Uh, well, forget about the dusty old electrical cabinets hidden in the basement. Now, electrical distribution is all about software, cloud, connectivity, analytics. It's going to go through unprecedented transformation, as Jean-Pascal explained. Imagine what electrical distribution will look like in 15 years with a widespread use of electrical vehicle, with decentralized generation, with pervasive renewable. It's going to be completely different from what it looks like now, right? And Manish explained us that buildings themselves are getting more complex. Now, the demand for dynamic, connected, interactive energy management system. And more and more, as they're getting complex, they're asking for reliable power quality. It's not anymore just about cost efficiency. A couple of examples. Take this high-end real estate going through massive retrofit of its lighting with LED. 
That's a good thing, right? But it generates very significant amount of harmonics, leading power factor, which affects lifts, generators, and eventually increase the cost of maintenance and affects customer satisfaction. Take the example of this large industrial facility going through massive implementation of automation and robotics. Pretty standards with industry 4.0, right? But here again, it's going to increase the complexity of power quality issues with the risk of downtime costing hundreds of thousands of euro in lost production. And last but not least, take this example of healthcare with a failing MRI scanner. With the right energy management system, the hospital is capable to demonstrate that the failure of the scanner does not come from dirty power inside the building and therefore can claim for the MRI to be fixed by the OEM manufacturer free of charge. Here again, hundreds of thousands of euro saved. With the adoption of IoT technology, the power industry is now high tech, full of connected devices, edge software, analytics on the cloud to make your power more reliable, safe, and efficient. That's what EcoStructure Power is all about. That's the cutting edge platform of Schneider Electric to bring the power of IoT to electrical distribution. That's why I'm really excited to share with you today not one, but actually five new offers that we're launching. First of all, there is no IoT if there is no data, and there is no data if there is no connected power, connected products. So we're launching the ION 9000 meter. That's actually the most accurate meter in the world. And it's way more than a meter. With the adaptable, programmable ION technology, you can customize this meter to meet your energy management needs, such as complex breaker monitoring, demand control, and load shedding. Offer number two, we're also launching the Ezer GP3 medium voltage protection relay. It has brand new features that bring improved safety and unparalleled efficiency. With a smart application, it allows you to monitor and to uh, operate your medium voltage panel, switch gear panel, without even touching your panel from your smart device. And the new virtual test facility helps you to validate the configuration without leaving your office. So these two simple features allow you very significant productivity improvement. Now you have data. And it's useless unless you can turn it into actionable information. That's why we're launching the version 9.0 of already very successful two edge control platform, EcoStructure Power Monitoring Expert and EcoStructure Power SCADA Operation. They have a whole set of new features, but more importantly, first, they take the reliability of your power management system to a whole new level. They have power event analysis algorithm that allow you to identify power quality issues before they create an outage so that you can take preventive action. They also embed widespread temperature sensing, which is critical in electrical distribution, right? Electrical fire accounts for 22% of fires. Second, they make power management simpler than ever. We've cut down the commissioning time of those platforms by 35%. We also make them natively multi-site and multi-user so that you can operate your different sites from a single server. And third, we're implementing the latest state-of-the-art cybersecurity. We know that one of your key concerns is to make this cyber secure. We're complying with the latest standards, IEC 62443, to address your concerns into cybersecurity. Offer number five, on top of EcoStructure Power Monitoring Expert, we have EcoStructure Power Advisor. This is a service, a cloud-based service, running extremely powerful analytics to deliver mainly two values. First value, it allows you to automate the consistency check of your power management system. 
Take an example of a large factory, and we've had a customer in China with more than 1,000 connected devices. Takes them four weeks to go manually across the site to check that the, the, the system is properly configured. With Power Advisor, you cut that down to a couple of hours. Huge saving in terms of maintenance cost. And you need to make sure that your data is right and your system is properly configured so that you take the right actions. Value number two of Power Advisor, we've built in analytics to really help our customers understand the depth of power quality issues. We're running periodically those analytics to have detailed reports that you can analyze either with a Schneider person or one of our eco experts. What we realize is more and more of our customers, end users, our facility managers, have less and less expertise in deep power quality understanding. And this is even more true with the millennium generation coming in your workforce. So with Power Advisor, we're making power quality simple. So these new offers allow you, our partners, our customers, to leverage the digital intelligence and to bring the full power of IoT in electrical distribution. This is the future of electrical distribution. This is what EcoStructure Power delivers with these five new offers. So now that we've talked about EcoStructure Building, we've talked about EcoStructure Power, it's my pleasure to introduce my colleague, Kevin Brown. Kevin has been leading the technology in our data center business. It's very likely that each of you have on their phone at least one app running on a data center designed by Kevin. Kevin? Thank you for that uh, rich introduction, Alexi. And uh, as you mentioned, I'm the CTO for the IT division. But today, I'm here in a little bit different role where I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Asset Advisor and some, some of our philosophy and things we're doing around a 24-7 data-driven predictive service. So to talk about that for a second, you know, I've spent most of my career, like Manish and like Alexi, making systems more available, more reliable. And I've spent most of it in the IT part, making our IT systems more available and more reliable. You know, and as Jean Pascal said, for anybody who has teenagers, I now realize how important that really is. But I can tell you, in the IT industry, in case you didn't know, there are a lot of buzzwords that we use. Things like big data, cloud, IoT, artificial intelligence, analytics. And ultimately, our engineers love technology. They love working on technology. They love understanding technology. But one of the things that we always challenge them on is not about can we use the technology, but how do we use that technology to bring unique value? How do we unlock productivity that we know exists by using this technology in new and different ways than how we did it in the past? That is the key. The buzzwords don't matter. The question is where do we get unique value? And this is where Asset Advisor starts coming in. In our IoT connected world, one of the biggest benefits that I believe, that we believe it brings, is the ability to eliminate the boundaries between our customers and the information and knowledge that we have with our experts. Artificial intelligence is artificial. We use that word for a reason, because ultimately the better way to think of artificial intelligence is that I'm augmenting the knowledge and understanding of experts. And Jean Pascal mentioned a few minutes ago that we already have lots of data. We're not utilizing it well enough. So the question is how do we start connecting that data with our experts to unleash productivity and that we cannot achieve today with today's technology? And this is ultimately the implications of an IoT connected world, of having lots of sensors, of having lots of data is how do I augment our understanding of our experts with the data that our customers have? This is what is uh, uh, Asset Advisor. 
Let me tell you some stories maybe to help illustrate this point. We had a customer running a critical facility. They had a transformer fail. The transformer failed. It cost them a lot of money to fix that transformer. The bigger problem they had was the negative media attention that came with that. They called us and said, hey, can you help me so that this doesn't happen again? And we, we said, yes, of course. So what did we do? We installed software, we installed sensors, we connected that into our cloud, we enabled what we call our service bureau to start using analytics and tools and our expertise to understand what was happening at their site. And we found another problem. We predicted another transformer was going to fail. However, so we became predictive by using analytics. However, the customer, because of financial constraints, did not schedule the replacement for two years. Seven days before the scheduled replacement, the transformer failed. It cost them four times as much money to replace the transformer that we predicted was going to fail than it would have if they had just done it when we had, we had asked them, when we had notified them of the problem. So being predictive is not enough. Analytics is not enough. Intelligence is not enough. You have to be proactive. How can we be more proactive to make sure that we don't have that problem occur? So let me tell you another story. This, a story about a retail chain that we work with. They have 2,300 stores representing 36 megawatts of power. This is, this is edge computing in reality. 36 megawatts is bigger than most data centers in the world. And this is what they are managing on 2,300 different sites. So what did we do? We've been working with this chain for years. They had tons of data sitting on their site. What we did with Asset Advisor is we opened up that data and connected it to our experts, and these are the types of results that you get. We were able to increase their store stability by 80%. We reduced active faults from 70 to 10. And most importantly, and what they tell us, this is the most important metric, 3,600 of work hours of their employees were freed, productivity gained to go spend with their customers. That is the power that happens when you combine IoT and data with experts and service. In this case, our relationship with them, we are so collaborative with this customer that we proactively go out and change things. And the management doesn't even know until after it's been done. So we are resolving problems before they occur. We are proactive and we are replacing it. That's, that is the difference between being predictive and proactive. So we can't do this alone. As I mentioned, the key to Asset Advisor is our service bureaus, which we will have six of before the end of the year, that are analyzing and we're augmenting and scaling the human understanding that we have, our expertise. And the critical thing is that we can combine that with our service experts that we have, as well as with our partner's capability to provide this unique experience and unlock the productivity that I just mentioned in that retail ch chain store example. This is what Asset Advisor is about. It's a 24-7 data-driven predictive service. And today, we are announcing that we are formally opening our service bureau for the French market to bring Asset Advisor to electrical distribution and data center assets. So this joins the US, the UK, India, today, France, and again, two more. So by the end of this year, we will have global coverage with Asset Advisor. So we're going beyond just preventative. We want to be predictive and proactive as an industry. So that is a Asset Advisor. That is what we're bringing today. And now I'd like to turn it over to Nico Yonkers, who has, works probably the best job in Schneider, because he works in our home environment, which I think everybody can relate to. So thank you very much. Thank you, Kevin. Great story you told here. Um, my name is Nico. I'm responsible for the smart space line of business with a focus, strong focus on home automation, smart home, and IoT. And I think for some, smart home, a bit far future. For other, day-to-day -day reality, and I can tell you, for me, it's really, it's happening now. When I come home, I say hi to my wife. Hi, Christine, give her a hug. Then I say hi to Alexa, please play some music. And this is such an easy way to integrate IoT, 
in our day-to-day -day life. I have to mix up, make sure I don't mix them up, but this is the way it gets for us easier natively to bring in the IoT use. Now, of course, we can say streaming some music, opening a garage door with your mobile phone, all things we can quite easily cover. But if it comes to bringing different solutions, different applications, different brands together, that does give sometimes challenges for me, and I guess also for quite a few of you in the room. Because when you take up smart home projects and you have to bring in these solutions together, it's a bit of higher risk. It's to make sure that when you bring it together, that you make sure the experience for the end user is smooth, that when he calls you back, you have to make sure you are there to support them. So these kind of smart home projects, not always that productive. And that's why I'm very happy to you to talk about Wiser. With Wiser, we bring our connected offer in Schneider Electric for the residential market. And basically, we provide simple connectivity from a single device all the way up to full home automation system. Now, did perfection arrive? I will not claim that. In this world, you can never claim that. But we make it very easy for people to step into it, start working with it, feel comfortable with it, and from there, grow their system into a full home automation system. And it is based on the experience that it seamlessly fits into the day-to-day -day activities of the end users. Let me give you an example of a, a previous uh, life when I introduced connected light bulbs with nice color settings, nice scene settings. So I brought this to market, I launched it in my home, and I showed to my wife how easy it is to set the scenes with your mobile phone. Then I came on a business trip. Guess what? I come back from that trip and I see all my lamps removed, everything replaced by standard lamps. And I said to Christine, what's happening here? And she told me, when I come home after doing some shopping and I want to switch on the light, it doesn't work. When my kids need to switch on the light to do some homework, they can't turn the, light, can't turn the lights on because they don't have the phone. So with that, we really need to make sure, and that's the lesson we took with Wiser, that it natively integrates in the way end users use it and also in the way our partners use it. Now, does Wiser cover everything in the residential space? No. We in Schneider believe that we have a certain legitimacy in offers that we bring, and we want to excel in those. So what we do, we cover lights, blinds, shutter, temperature. We're very strong in the electrical panel, so we make that connected. And with that, you get control over your big loads, whether it's a heat pump, whether it's a solar panel, whether it's an EV station. And we make sure with that, you're able to control your energy, to monitor it, and with the sensors that we have built around it, get signals for anything in your home that happens that requires your attention. So bringing this all together, when we are then thinking forward, how do we do this? Basically, we have created moments that make it very easy for the day-to-day -day things that you do at home, whether it is cooking, sleeping, uh, reading. We create these moments that you store, that you save, and that you recall. And where you can do that wherever you want. So when I was recently in a uh, uh, weekend trip in the Netherlands, my kids were at home. And at 11 o'clock at night, time for them to go to bed. So I pick up my app. And basically, you just change the setting with one push on a button to sleep mode. So what happens at home? Lights go down, shutters go down, temperature goes down. Well, in the beginning, my kids freaked out a bit because what the hell was happening there. But in general, they now get it and they see very easily how it is to manage your home remotely or when you are there in your home. It's the most simple way how to drive these kind of propositions into the market. If we now think, why is this all relevant for you? Well, why is a platform is building on an open IoT platform? We work with partners. We work, you will see it outside, some feed Denfoss. We make our system open and integratable with others. We make sure it fits into the, op the, into the IoT platforms with Apple, with Google, with, uh, with Alexa. So with that, we provide you with an experience that you install your standard 
ways of doing your devices and work that you've always been doing and just add simple connectivity on top. The second big advantage, working with Schneider, we're not a startup. We will be there for decades to come. And with that, we help you, we train you, we make sure you're able to handle your customer in the most professional way. And thirdly, your customers, they will call you back. Not because there are all kinds of problems, but because they like it. When you have done a living room, you expand it to the next room. And the customers like to expand to next applications. And that's the way how you can bring a scalable business towards your end customer. And that's good for you, that's good for us. That's how we're able to grow the business together. Now to put that all together, I have a short video to show. And within this video, you will see the full scope of the offer. Secondly, we all know that when you have told this story, it will be a business generator for us going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.